the uh, celebration of celebration of war, I guess you Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, when I was in Korea, I w we would go to an outpost that we had, which we had to go through the North, North Korea area over to a, a peninsula like that was governed by the South Korea. So uh, anyway, being in occupation, we did that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you went through that territory, <coughs> a lot of the American-made equipment, mm -hmm. trucks, jeeps, you name it, yeah. were in the Russians' hands. They were brand new. We had the old stuff, and we were going through the territory and usually end up with a flat tire or something getting getting there. So yeah. it was uh, it was different. I might go back and say that um, my uh, brother was killed on Lady, and when I was in basic training, they called and told me that. What originally made you want to join the service? State. Well, the first is draft. I was drafted in. Okay. You know, oh, yeah. Uh, it wasn't the Charlie I want you. you know, oh, yeah. You've probably seen those pictures. Yeah. But uh, that was the first step. Okay. What were some of the more memorable experiences? Well, the first one I think that, that uh, gave me a little scare, I guess. We were on a boat going to Okinawa. Mm -hmm. And there was, I don't know, uh, they said that something like a thousand troops on there. What they were doing was sending new troops over to take the place of those who had been there for many years, yeah. for a long time. And Okinawa was, uh, was being completed at that time, or finished up at that time. So we, uh, we arrived there, but when we were near the Okinawa, one of these kamikaze planes, was making a dash at us, and our gunners were very accurate and got him way over to the side. Mm -hmm. So it was scary. Yeah. And the other yeah. thing is, I was never on a big ship, and uh, <laughs> get out there in the ocean, mm -hmm. it goes up and down pretty heavy. Yeah. Were you awarded any medals or citations? And if so, how did you get them? Well, the Bronze Star Medal is a special award. That's one of the top awards. I got it. Uh, for the work I would had done, mm -hmm. uh, primarily in in uh, Vietnam, I was issued it in Vietnam. And the picture of the star is there, in the uh, and I was awarded the Army Commendation Medal two times. Mm -hmm. um, the it's, they call it an Army Commendation Medal with a oak leaf cluster. You get a little star to put on your ribbon. Uh -huh. Did you feel much pressure or stress while on duty? Well, not really because I was in the positions that I didn't get a lot of stress on. Mm -hmm. uh, in administrative work, you didn't get a lot of stress. Uh, I think I always say this, uh, the uh, infantrymen, you know, I mean, they have to clean their rifles mm -hmm. and all this kind of stuff, major upkeep of your stuff. I didn't have that to do. I uh, was in charge of the supply room where the uh, weapons were kept. And uh, in any way, I, I made my rank extremely fast. Mm -hmm. I was a master sergeant in three years. Wow. And so I skipped two grades entirely. You, once you uh, retired from the service, uh, I started working for Kroger, and I was in their data processing. Before I left, uh, well, getting back to Vietnam a little bit here, when I was in Vietnam, I was sent over there for a primary purpose. They were something like 5,000 people that they couldn't account for mm -hmm. one, where, one way or another. Either they didn't have orders showing where they went or not when they come back. Yeah. So, excuse my nose, but I no, the weather you're conditions fine. here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, data processing was the beginning about that time, mm -hmm. 1967. And when I went over there, I was in charge of the data processing unit, and we had to try to eliminate the lost uh, individuals.